Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. Now in this episode, we're gonna cover what is now my favorite card, the MSI R9 270 Twin Frozer. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. I wanna make one thing clear. This is not the X edition. This is the standard 270. Now, why is that important? It is important for one key reason. If we take a look at the very top of this card, this card only requires one six pin PCI Express rail. And anybody that's doing hashing, anybody that's having to look for a power supply and really wants to go with six cards, that is a godsend. What that means, you can put a Thermaltake 1200 or a EVGA 1300 G2 Supernova and power an entire six card rig with one power supply. Now in this review, we went ahead and paired it up with one of those MSI Z87 G45 gaming motherboards. Just thought it looked good, it matched the colors. And then through that thermal take 1200 watt, which had that nice red uh, stripe there, just all matching piece there. We have three more of these cards coming in. I really have been looking for a couple more. Love to put six in it, but it looks like we're just gonna go with four and then this rig will be done. Now finally, I'm gonna show you what this card actually can do. Throw some settings on there. We'll post them down below. We get about 450 to 460 out of this card. I've looked on the raw data out there with the Litecoin mining wiki, and it looks like some people are getting 470 out of this card, 480. We've been successful right around that 450, 460 range on this card. On top of that, it looks like it's using about 115, 125 to the wall. Again, like the Gigabyte, really good power usage on this card for what it delivers 125 to 150 watts and you get 460 to 470 hashes that's just remarkable couple that with the 209 dollar price point some places are going to gouge you on it obviously these are pretty hot cards but you can go into micro center they do sell these they continued skew for them just go in there stake them out you'll get this card right around that 209 price point now obviously those prices are based in the u.s our brethren that are out there in europe and russia and ukraine and all over the western block you guys are having to pay a surcharge that sucks so great card if you guys can get a hold of them real good hasher a uh, winner for sure winner now obviously we owe you still that 6x toxic i've been tweeting some pictures out there we got six cards it's been running now for a week we're finishing up the last piece of the videos. We're going to try to get a second video out this week. Hopefully we can get it to you by the 13th or 14th. Uh, we'll look and make sure we can get that post-processing done. Uh, we'll get that out there, that six tox rig. And then this weekend looks like it's going to be the weekend of recording the mineral oil mining rig that we've been talking about for a while now. Got everything in for that. Uh, timing looks like it's coming together. You know, let's, let's bring something awesome to you. And don't worry, it doesn't stop at that 6X toxic rig and the mineral oil rig. You can see here, we mean business. We have a whole load of these BTC boards. I plan on building quite a few different setup and configurations of six card rigs to kind of give a nice setup for you all to kind of follow if you were trying to replicate this, exactly what drivers we use, what risers we use. I see a lot of comments about that. Using these boards, we love these boards. We haven't had any issues with them at all. More issues with the risers that we get, more than the board itself, and then putting some really nice hardware in here. Stay tuned. The bits be trippin', the bits be 